Welcome to the Geek Easy. Sit back, grab a libation of your choice, and relax, because it's time to do some geek stuff in the Geek Easy. <laughs> Welcome to the Geek Easy, fellow geeks. Grab a beverage of your choice. Because today, we will be reviewing Peacemaker Prize Harder, number one. Published by DC, and it is a black label book. And written by Starks. Let's see if I can do this without uh, getting all the tape off here. I don't know why I taped this up before I did this. Written by uh, Kyle Starks, art by Steve Pugh, and colors by Jordi Belair. And they are, it starts out with a couple talking about, hey, there's a uh, character by the name of, uh, they're making a movie called Tales of the Black Firefighter. I guess it's, you know, this their version of a okay, superhero movie. And they're lamenting that, hey, they're going to change stuff. And, you know, typical conversation that, like, nerds would have about this. And then down at the bottom, you have uh, someone yelling, What do you mean, who the fuck am I? I am Peacemaker. Uh, Christopher Smith. Right? And he's, he's in line buying something and... Uh, A pro, a protein shake and cake mix, right? And so th that means that there's a there's a running gag in here about is he buying, making a protein cake. Uh, I have never read a uh, Peacemaker comic. I don't even know who he was until... Peacemaker, uh, I mean, between, uh, before Suicide Squad, and I've gotten to watch some of, uh, the first season, the person that's letting me watch it is, uh, busy now with raising a newborn, so at some point I'm gonna have to finish watching the season, uh, But uh, you have him, uh, he gets, uh, they have a little, little funny scene where Amanda Waller calls him and sends him on a mission to take out these terrorists. And it's like, hey, you know, I've got, you know, my uh, my sentence is up. You know why? Why are you expecting me to do all this stuff? You know I don't have to do it. And she's just like, "Yeah, but we're paying your bills, and this is about freedom." And so he goes and winds up getting a little dog that he calls Bruce Wayne because it's fancy. Looks like he's wearing a tux, and this leads to him. Uh, Having to go after some bad guys. Now, this is a really fun story. I mean, it, it just basically shows how much of an a-hole a Christopher Smith Peacemaker is. And you're getting a little, uh, you're getting a little bit of a look into his childhood. Briefly. And... At the end of issue one, 
you find out what's going to be happening in the rest of the miniseries. Don't want to... Uh, don't want to give anything away, but, you know, the, the first part, the first group he goes after doesn't... It doesn't end there. It leads him into going after somebody else, which sets him off on another mission. And this is a really funny story, but it's also really well written. Uh, makes the uh, it's written sort of like the. Uh, the series, it's really interesting and just laugh out loud funny at points. And I'm going to have to recommend this book because, you know, when I got it, when I picked it up, I was like, all right, let's just see how this, this is going to be. Thinking uh, if it sucks, it'll just be one issue that I am out. And then I don't have to get the rest. But it didn't. It was... It is a very fun, entertaining book that just shows you how, you know, how entertaining this character can be. And just look at this variant cover. I mean, that's just... Yeah. And if this first issue is any, any indication... This second, all the rest of the series is going to be awesome, especially depending on, especially considering who he's going to be going after in the next book. It's going to rock. So I'm going to give this a 4.25 out of 5. Oh, no, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5 and just say, get it, because it's awesome. It's funny. And you'll enjoy it. Anyway, let me know in the comments below if you've read it, what you thought of it. Like, subscribe, and most of all, enjoy your comics.